So you scan the internet looking for chicks with pierced nipples And you slipped a couple clicks and went and found the talking cripple His concept is to share with you his many thoughts And it's clear-headed cause he never drank a beer or hit the so pot if you have an open mind and a willingness to learn Stay tuned to this page and just see what you may learn Now grab yourself a snack, kick back and enjoy The unique views of life brought to you by Crippy Boy He's in a wheelchair Yeah, that's why I called him Crippy Boy Have a good one You fucking freak Howdy, hello, welcome to the first of what I anticipate being many episodes of uh, my YouTube channel here. Uh, I've been thinking about doing a blog for years on, on things that uh, entertain, amuse, uh, educate, make people think, uh, things that affect my life, and uh, I, I want to get my, my opinion out there on the world. Um, why does my opinion matter? Well, that's up to you to decide. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit about me and uh, kind of my background. And uh, you, you judge for yourself whether my opinion matters or not. Um, if it makes you mad, uh, write me back. Uh, send me an email. Write, write a comment. If you like what I write, same thing. Send me an email. Write a comment. I'm always down for some healthy debate. Um, so anyway, my name is Josh Winkler. I am a C56 quadriplegic. Um, don't argue with me and say I'm not a quad because I can use my arms because uh, that, that actually does. Does mean uh, the impairment of four limbs. Doesn't mean the non-use of four limbs means the impairment. Um, C5 is the bone I broke, um, but the little bit of wrist movement I have there, I can go up, but if I flip my wrist over, I can't, can't come up the other way. Um, that, that's a C6 motion. Uh, if you just Google C5-6 quadriplegic, um, I basically meet the textbook definition. I'm not considered a complete injury, no feeling or use below my mid-chest. I have some, some, some feeling below mid-chest, but no, no muscle function below mid-chest. Uh, yeah, that happened back in uh, 1998. I was driving a CJ5 Jeep um, back in Pennsylvania, where I'm from, and lost control somehow. Don't I don't remember the accident at all, but I uh, rolled between three and five times. Uh, bounced my head off the pavement. If you look, you can see there's a big dent on my forehead. Hit my head off other parts. Um, I stayed belted. I was the driver. Um, had my good friend Nate Miles in the passenger seat, and his 10-year-old brother was in the back seat. Um, on the next to last roll, Nate's seatbelt snapped and he was ejected. He ended up on the pavement beside the Jeep. I ended up on my wheels, hanging over the side. Um, since I was paralyzed, I was unable to, to sit up. So um, there I was dangling over the side. Um, unfortunately, Nate uh, had massive, massive head injuries and then actually passed away from the accident. Um, I gotta give a lot of appreciation to his family. They've They've helped me from, from day one after the accident. They, they've been huge supporters. Um, they, they, they recognized it was an accident and, and, and always told me that, you know, look, it was an accident. Accidents happened. Um, we weren't drinking, we weren't speeding, we weren't screwing around. Just lost control. Don't know if it was a mechanical issue or what. Um, but yeah, so big thanks to Joan, Ben, uh, Kane, Dave. I uh, really appreciate everything you've always, always done for me. Um, also, I got to say, you know, Kane, the, the 10 year old was in the back seat. He got some bruises on his stomach. Um, and that was basically it. He, he ended up walking away okay, uh, which, which is very surprising. If anybody's familiar with the CJ5 Jeep uh, with the stock roll bar, there's not much protection offered to the uh, rear seat passenger. Thankfully, he was, he was short enough that he didn't end up hitting his head off the concrete at all. So, yeah, big, big shout out to their whole family. Really appreciate them. I um, love you guys. Um, so yeah, that happened back in 1998 in Pennsylvania, like I say. I uh, did my rehab at Craig Hospital in Denver, Colorado. I uh, did about three and a half, four months of rehab out here. Um, flew back to Pennsylvania, finished my senior year of high school. Uh, a week after I graduated, I headed back to Denver. Um, at the time, didn't know what I was doing with my life, but basically knew, okay, I'm crippled. I need to uh, get some kind of degree. I'd find something that I can do without my hands. Prior to my injury, I wanted to be a mechanic for a professional motocross team. Uh, you lose the use of your hands, that, that pretty well rules out turning wrenches for a living. So it was okay, off to school. Uh, went to University of Colorado at Denver uh, with no clue what I was going to school for, just I'm going to school. Um, ended up getting my bachelor's and master's in mechanical engineering, graduated in 2005. I uh, went to work, I uh, got an internship with a race car engineering um, consulting company, uh, doing consulting work, and uh, some, uh, we're, they're just branching into the software to uh, 
to racing geared software. Um, when I went to work there, that's what I worked on for about a year, year and a half. Um, all while I was there, we linked up with Furniture Row Racing and NASCAR team here in Denver, and we're doing some consulting work for them. And that was really my dream to work for a NASCAR team um, after, after the motocross dream kind of left. The next one was NASCAR. I you know, make cars turn left. Um, and, and so I quit at my, um, the job at the consulting firm, went to work directly for Furniture Row Racing, worked there for about uh, three and a half years, um, two and a half years, something like that. And I was laid off in November of 2008 as the economy tanked. Um, like, like a lot of America, I got laid off. They cut their staff in half, and I was part of the half that got cut. Um, it, it actually was a good thing in the end. It allowed me to start my own company. I um, started a company called Winkler Industries, LLC. Again, had no idea what I was going to do, but started buying some equipment, started um, just playing around, seeing what I wanted to do. Got a, got a little CNC machine behind me. Um, got a tubing vendor in the other room. Got some blades over at my uh, partner's house. By partner, I mean business partner, not in the gay way. Um, he's married. He has a kid. I'm not gay. Um, so anyway, yeah, no, I digress there a little. Um, yeah, um, just started buying equipment. I uh, wanted to branch into doing some stuff for myself. Um, there were some things on my chair that I was never happy with. So I started building some wheelchair parts. And that, that evolved into, um, you know, I used to be having CrippleConcepts.com. Uh, through Cripple Concepts, we're doing a variety of, of parts for wheelchairs. Some will be pretty much standard products. Some are going to be totally custom for each individual. Um, a, lot of, a lot of things in the market just missing in the wheelchair realm. So wanted to get into that. Um, don't, don't really know where all that's going to take me in the end. But I have some thoughts on vehicles. I have some thoughts on some wheelchairs. I have sports chairs, sports equipment. There's... There's several avenues that it may go, but uh, right now we're just got about had a dozen, uh, actually probably about eight products for sale. Um, working on several more that will increase our line with as time goes on. So check us out, CurbaConcepts.com. So yeah, that covers um, covers a little bit about me. Um, yeah, like I say, these videos are going to uh, going to vary a lot. Some will be educational. Some are going to be humorous. Some are going to be um, on the political realm, um, I have a lot of opinions on a lot of things. Um, like I say, some are going to be um, just just bitch sessions. Things that things that are really pissing me off that week. Um, I, I don't know if I'll do these every week, every month. What I'm, what I'll upload at. But um, yeah, there'll be a lot more. So stay tuned. Um, keep your eyes peeled and uh, subscribe. Uh, check out the page. Whatever creepyboy.com will bring you here. YouTube.com/slash creepyboy. Um, again, Kerbal Concepts, Winkler Industries. Check us out. Thanks for watching.